Hello everybody, I am back playing the Bard's Tale today, um, so I've just done a couple of things off screen for a moment. I went to the shop again and I bought a claymore, I bought some leather armor, and I bought a treasure map. So the guy had a really funny reaction when we bought the map. Just what I was looking for. How filthy stinking rich I am! All that silver for a scrap of a map I had off a wizened old bugger for the price of a piece of bread! <laughs> well, so long and farewell, good sir! I'm off to Doonby to spend me days drunk as a lord and tickling every lass I can lay a hand to! How <laughs> bless you, sir! Bless you and goodbye! Well, that didn't go well. So he seemed to, to think that he was screwing us over and it just spawned, we spawned, um, right outside of the shop. So let's just finish up a couple of things here in Houghton and let's let's move on to Kirkwall. Shocking, shocking, absolutely shocking. See if she has anything else to say to us. Um, oh, we can buy... We can buy a couple of things from her. Pigs mean. That's cool. Let's buy How that. about one of these? We get that stuff in from Kirkwall. I hear the fellow who brews it is some kind of a hero. Lost a few limbs and turned to brewing when he couldn't fight. I'll have one of those then. Ah, I needed that. I hope you enjoyed that. The drinks give us some some kind of uh, power ups. It's there in the upper left hand corner there. All right, let's see if there's anything else that we need to do here before moving on. Boyd's Barrels. Hello, traveler. Could I interest you in any of my finely crafted barrels? I have many models to choose from, all displayed attractively right outside my shop. Hmm, let me think. Now. Oh. The bard is not interested in barrels. I think this guy gets ticked off if we break the barrels, so I think I'm going to do that real quick. Which would make sense. If he's making them. There we go. Like, hey, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? Stop that right now. Why are you breaking my barrels? Because I want to. Um... I didn't know these belonged to anyone. Well, they do. It took me all day to make those. I don't mind if you break them after they're sold, but don't destroy my inventory before I've sold them. I don't know how to break this to you, but you're an <laughs> horrible barrel maker. One swing and they burst into a thousand pieces. I mean, what kind of shoddy craftsmanship is that anyways? Well, it's a rude man you are. Come yeah. back when you're in a mood to be a bit more civil and we can talk. Okay, so that was the wrong choice. That was the wrong choice. Okay, let's try again. What are you doing back here? You owe me for the barrels you broke. If you're in a mood to talk, we can discuss a way for you to repay me. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's hear what you have to say. If you want to get your money back, go and destroy the barrels I've already sold. I've set aside silver from every new barrel I sell to replace the ones you've broken. If my sales are good, we both stand to profit. I like the way you think, old man. It's dodgy business practices <laughs> like yours that have made this land great. I'll be happy to help out however I can. I look forward to a long and profitable relationship. See you again soon. Sure. As soon as I hand over silver, everyone's my friend. So we're just gonna steal from this woman. Oh. And she freaks out. <laughs> Sorry, lady. Ah! Excuse me. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that's a pretty good reaction. I think that's pretty appropriate. For some random man in your house and he's stealing from you. Makes sense to me. What do you want? If you're a thief, you'll get nothing from me, for I've only these old bones and a heavy heart. Mm. Sorry, Grandad. I didn't expect mm. to find you here, or frighten you when I did. 
I'm only looking out for a bit of silver to line my pockets. Of course you are, young sir. And I happen to know how you might find some. For it's a cruel bugbear that's been keeping the farmers from observing their rituals. And us farmers have to perform our rituals at the Houghton Cairn. Without them, the crops won't grow and the weans go hungry. So, it's a bit of killing you want done, eh? Fair enough. But I should warn you, my blade doesn't come cheap. It's a hard young man you mm. are, to be sure. And ought to be kinder to your elders. As for the bugbear, you'll find him in the cairn when you're done with him. Come back here. We'll pay you what we can. Well, now, you must be the daft idiot what's been chasing through Houghton with his rats and lightning spiders. Yep. That would be me. So let's... Look here, Sheriff. Shut <laughs> up! Kettle Swartz, a backstabbing, thieving rogue, what took me half a year to catch, and now you've up and set him free, and it's a good bet he's gone to ground in Neversdale Forest. Well, just you head out of town and get him back and be quick about it. Go recapture the blackguard, or you'll never be welcome in Houghton again. Yes, yeah, so I told you to bring me Kettle. Now get off your... Yeah, so now we have to go drag Kettle back to jail. <laughs> like a never-ending, um, fight. Okay, so what... Uh, what I want to do is go to Kirkwall. So you can see this is the map. If we run into any of those creatures, we we'll have to fight them. Okay, yeah, let's go here. So I'm really going to try not to skip ahead in the chapters. I think I might and So have. the bard arrived in Kirkwall, a peaceful and quiet town. The place seemed oddly familiar, and he would soon learn why. That's okay. I don't believe it. I truly don't believe it. Who are you, Two lady? Deceive me. One can only mm. hope. Yeah. So much for peaceful and quiet. Oh, my eyes speak the truth. My love has indeed returned. Your love. Although you vowed to return to my arms, Thanks. time had cast doubt upon my heart. It's <laughs> been so long since that magical night. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh. I'm truly sorry, my lady. But I'm afraid you've mistaken me for someone else. Someone less handsome, I'm sure. I get that all the time. Oh, surely you jest. That moonlit night, in the barn, up in the loft. You said you loved me. You said it was the most passionate <laughs> moment you'd ever experienced. Oh, this is bad. Can you be more specific? I get a lot of that too. Look. I'm sorry. I don't remember you, which means one of two things. Either we never met, or that night was just magical for one of us. I've never been so insulted in all my life. Think hard. <laughs> I'm sure you have. <laughs> when my father finds out, you'll get what's coming to you. You're nothing but a... a beast. That obviously didn't bother you before. You'll pay. <laughs> I swear to you, you will pay. Thanks. I already have. I must get myself a chastity belt. Keep me out of trouble on such desperate nights. You'd do all the world a favor if you threw away the key. Mm, thanks a lot, narrator. Okay, so we clearly wronged a woman, and it's come back to haunt us in a pretty bad way. Alrighty. We found our bove. Excuse me, do you know where I might find one bove? Aye, I be one bove. And may I ask... Who you be? I ask the questions around here. I've been sent to you from Houghton by one of your brothers. Do you have some music for me? Well, someone got up on the wrong side of the haystack this morning. How do I know you to be a trustworthy soul? <laughs> How about this? Count to three, and if you're not dead, you can trust me. A man of conviction. I can respect that. Listen, my friend. My name is Bove, but it is another Bove you seek. I'll be glad to take you to him. As if you had a choice. The Bard and Bove travel together in search of another Bove. Too many Boves. Oh, the Boves are annoying. Just find them. Already. There we go. 
Are you the right bow? Hook for hands. Hello there, Bove. Oh, good day, Bove. How's Agnes? Good, good. And your Agnes? Oh, she's great. And the twins? Can we get on with this, please? And who is this? I'm the man who would gladly make one less Bove around here if you don't tell me what I need to know. No, my good man, no need for violence. You'll find you cannot know enough Boves. I assure you, we're here to help. You can help a little more by yapping a little less. Just teach me this magic and I'll be on me merry way. And your nose will remain in the middle of your face. I must confess, I like my nose where it is. That being said, had I known you wanted magic, Bove, we could have saved a lot of time. You mean there's another Bove? Of course. If only you could have been more specific. Come along, I I'll take you to him. For your sake, the third time better be the charm. Okay. Third time's a charm, maybe? I'm almost afraid to ask this. <laughs> but, uh, is your name Bove? That's the name I go by. And what do you call yourself? Call me frustrated. But I'm hoping you can end this vicious circle I'm caught up in. Oh, you poor man. If only I had the slightest bit of sympathy for a frustrated, weary stranger taking up my <sighs> precious time. But I suppose I can give you one question. Fair enough. Here's my question. Would you prefer to die by cold steel or strangulation? Is old age an option? Otherwise, how can I take you to the bow who can actually help you? The magic I do is basic. Illusions, card tricks, palm readings. I'll take you to the bow who knows the magical tunes. Come along. And... If this is not the bow that knows the magical tunes, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, why wasn't I invited to the party? Believe Ugh. me, this is no <laughs> yeah. party. I've no more patience with any of you. Well, that's a shame. Without the four of us, I'm afraid you can't be helped. Like I always say, the more the merrier, what's one more bove gonna hurt? Come along. The bard and the four boves ventured forth. How quickly the rude are attracted <laughs> to the rude. Fair enough. La 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 la. La 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 la. We just got the light Once fairy. Once you're inside, work yourself through the maze until you find four barrels. Behind those barrels is a passage that will lead you atop the bluff. There you'll meet a very good friend of ours who will show you the way. Why do I have the feeling that this little runaround is far from over? Believe us, my friend, there is a method to our madness. I'm sure there is, but no reason to take me down with you. Yeah, I pretty much trust these guys 0%. Okay, I think we have to... Someone need a light? Alright. So the tune that we just picked up is this... <laughs> this guy that has a... He's a fairy, but he has like a really deep, scratchy voice. So the strategy in this game is really, you have a very limited number of followers that you can summon. You have to strategically pick which ones are going to help you the most in a certain situation. After stumbling around in the dark, and with the help of his newfound companion, our hero found the secret passage to the top of the bluff. I've been expecting you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is... I must say, your future will become very bleak mm. if you say Bove right now. As you wish. Far be it from me to shorten my own future. Just tell me, are you the one I seek? And I emphasize the word, the... I am he whom you seek. For safety's sake, you may call me... Well, whatever you'd like, actually. Then I'll call you homely. But that's an apt description. As you wish. 
I'll even dance if it keeps that sword out of my belly. I've seen enough summon dance for one day. So, Armley, why have I been summoned to this armpit of a town? You've not been summoned, my friend. You have been chosen. Quite an honour, I might add. For only the strongest and most courageous in all the land would have been chosen by the beautiful Princess Calais. Beautiful princess? Let's hear more. Aye. Princess Calais is the loveliest lass in all the land. Oh, it makes me weep to think of her plight. Continue. Not that I know where this is going. Our fair princess is being held captive atop an ancient tower. Dark forces keep her locked away in a mystical prison. Only she... Let me guess, only she can defeat the evil. Always <laughs> a tower, isn't it? Yep. Nobody's ever held at ground level anymore. How sure. did you know? <gasps> That's astonishing! Sorry, friend. Not interested. These princess rescues always turn sour. Last princess I tried to rescue, well, let's just say the ogre was dying to give her back. Wait! Did I mention that she's as rich as she is beautiful? Rich? How rich are we talking? The barest portion of her wealth could buy Dunby a hundred times over. Not bad. And, uh, you said she's beautiful as well. The fairest in all the land. You tempt me, but still. Let me do something to allay any doubts you might have. You can speak with the princess directly. How is that possible if she's locked in a tower? I have my ways. Just give her a chance to speak with you herself. She can be very persuasive. I expect to be well compensated for my time. You will be, my friend. You will be. With visions of coin, cleavage, and carnage jiggling in his head, the bard and his newfound friend head off to be in the presence of the mysterious Princess Calais. Here we are, my friend. I see no tower here. I thought you were taking me to see this princess. Aye, and you shall speak with her. Uh, just, uh, not in the flesh. But eventually I do see flesh, right? In due time, my impatient friend. In due time. What are we getting ourselves into? Don't do it, Bard. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. You remember my brothers? Yes, but I'm so bad with names. <laughs> Both! Now I remember. Can we get on with this? If I don't see this princess soon, believe me, boves will roll. As you wish. As I mentioned to you before, Princess Calais is in an impenetrable tower. I don't remember you mentioning the word impenetrable. I didn't? Well, that's because it's only impenetrable to the likes of us. A strapping fella such as yourself should have no problem. Nice try. Go on. The only way we can communicate with our beloved princess is by summoning an image of her. We have this ritual Enough that... words. Let's see some action, some action. Very well. Are we ready, my friends? If this were a stage, I'd boo you off. Here she is. Oh, the bell! Both? No, or we'll lose her! Ring it! No! Ding! <laughs> Ding? <laughs> well, I don't- I didn't remember that part. So the idiot lost the bell. Apparently. Oh, uh, and she's gone. Was that her? <laughs> she looked familiar. Where's the bell? Was that Princess Calico? Calais. Calico. <laughs> oh, the bell. I don't exactly have it. <laughs> she's the one who appears when I use this pendant. Who does exactly have it? Farmer Finn. So she's the princess. And she's rich, you say? Ugh, gambling again? I'm sorry. I'm weak when it comes to temptation. Join the club. Who needs the stinking bell? Can't I just go and rescue her? I could leave right now. Do you have a fast horse? I'm afraid a rescue is impossible without information which only the princess can provide. Well, I can summon her right now. She comes when I use this pendant. Hey, let me see that. Hmm. It is as I thought. 
Where did you get this? From the guy that sent me to you. This pendant contains a portion of her magical essence. A little bit of her spirit, if you will. It'll invoke her power, but does not allow for communication. All right. So point me in the direction of this farmer. If I can't buy it back, I can find a way to con it out of him. I obviously can't trust Bove to go get it. But you must hurry. Time is an issue. Get that bell and bring it back here as soon as you can. Then I can go get the princess, right? No more run around? Aye. And she'll repay you many times over. And in many ways, I hope. I'll be back before you know it. Our smitten bard was on his way to see the farmer, with luck at his side and images in his head of the princess doing <laughs> things I dare not mention. Probably for the best, yes. Alrighty. So we gotta go to the farmer and get the bell back from him. I guess it can't just be any old bell. It has to be this this one specific type of bell. Okay, so what we have found is the corpse of an ex-chosen one. So this is a person, like uh, what the bard is, who has failed at their mission. And we find these bodies kind of everywhere throughout the game. It's kind of bad luck to do this. And every time that we loot one of these corpses, um, we have to deal with a performance, I believe. So... These trow sing the song. Oh, it's gonna be really annoying. Okay, maybe I'll just skip through it and spare you guys. If you were another of those chosen ones, looks like the only thing you'd have been chosen for is lunch. I'm guessing you don't mind if I borrow this armor. Though it doesn't seem to do much good against wolves. Okay. Oh, we stole the guy's armor. Okay, that was that was painful to watch, I have to say. And you have to watch one of those songs every time that you loot a corpse like that. But if the bard was smart, um, he'd kind of realize that um, maybe this this journey isn't a good idea, given that everyone who's tried it has died a horrible, painful death. But no, he's like, ah. Eh. All right, so we we're gonna try and get the bell from the farmer here. It's the only way to summon the princess. Get off my land, you filthy vagrant! You're not welcome here! Don't burst a blood vessel, old man. I was sent here to reclaim an important artifact. There are no artifacts on this land, you idiot. Mostly just chickens. Did Connor send you? If so, you can tell him that I'll get him his money and the wedding is still off. My daughter doesn't want anything to do with him. You go back and tell him that. I don't know any Connor, and you're a bitter old coot, mm. aren't you? You have until I count to ten. One, two, three, four, yeah, uh, mm, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I uh, don't mean to trespass. So I was sent here by Bove. Uh, don't ask which one. To reacquire a bell that he had lost to you gambling. That bell you're after, it's not for sale. But maybe there's something you can do for me, and I could offer you the bell as payment. Sure, old man. What do you need? Some chickens milked? Some cows plucked? <laughs> <laughs> not quite. Come with me. Uh, I didn't mean to hit the, um... The, uh, positive response. These pesky crows are eating all my crops. If you can rid me of them, you walk away with a bell. That's it. Birds? Killing a few birds will square things up? <laughs> Too easy, old man. Where's the catch? You want the bell? Kill the birds. I'm old. Time is precious. Do we have a deal or not? It's difficult to associate you with the word precious, but yes, we do have a deal. Well, good luck. Meet me by the house when you're done. 
I don't actually remember this happening, so... Because I probably never responded to him in a positive way. Or maybe I... I don't know. I just have to kill the birds, right? Okay, I don't have to shoot them with a bow and arrow. Show me the target. Charge! Taking aim. So I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to depend aim. on her to actually kill them for me. Oh, here we go. Oh, what the heck? Ah! So these these guys have come to life. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I definitely don't remember this happening, and they hit hard as hell. So the scarecrow's base. Jeez. Oh, Not even killed one of these guys yet. Oh, I think that guy died. Hope she can take care of them, you know. Maybe I'll get behind them. Ah, another victory for me. <laughs> die, die. <laughs> that was not just the birds at all. They are again. I cannot let them hit me. They are dangerous. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright, alright. So we killed all the birds and we killed all the guys' scarecrows. This is not... Um, ah! Another victory for me! <laughs> that is not the task I remember having to do. Or the guy. So if I killed a farmer, it's not as much <laughs> a sin as it is a mercy killing. He's gonna most likely die any minute now anyways. <laughs> any problem with the crows? No, but heads up on the scarecrows would've been nice. Troublesome lot, aren't they? Not only do they attract crows, but every time I tried to get rid of them, they took out half my crop. Last time I buy a scarecrow from a trow. That was more work than I figured, but I guess trade is better than being in debt. Oh, you said it. Connor wiped me out so badly playing cards that I had to trade in my daughter's hand in marriage to get out of debt. I knew you were a despicable old man, but your own daughter to get out of debt? That's a nice twist. You got that right. But she ruined it by falling for some loser. Now the wedding is off. <laughs> I feel sorry for Connor. I feel sorry for the loser, but back to the things I actually care about. If you hand over the bell now, we can finally be done with one another. The bell is yours. A deal's a deal. I uh, tell your daughter I'm sorry I can't attend the wedding. Wedding? Oh, no. Did I hear someone say wedding? To that girl. Shoot him where he stands. You have some nerve burrowing your way into our land, you scum! I see you've met my daughter. Uh-oh. This is the swine's <laughs> behind I told you about! I see you have your father's weight. <laughs> no wonder you traded her. Daddy! This sneak took advantage of me, <laughs> oh. then took off the next morning! You promised me marriage and you broke my heart! Yikes. <laughs> Listen, lass. I believe our business is done here. Couldn't agree with you more, old man. And... As I always say, if you just hand over the bell, I'll be on my way. One, two... Please, don't count again. As you wish. Our hero had once again been bitten in the behind due to his disrespect for women. Would he ever learn? Who asked you? I obviously have two options here. Marry her, or find some poor fool to take my place. Hmm. Let's make that one option. Mm -hmm. I'll have to have a heart-to-heart -heart with this Connor fellow. Okay, so now we got to convince Connor to marry the girl. Or convince her to marry him. I'm not sure which. The bard needed to find a way to make the farmer's daughter happy and forget about him at the same time. Perhaps seeking out her former betrothed would be of help. Okay, so I do know what to do in this situation. Um, you just have to pull out your fists and you gotta let him beat the crap out of you. Which is not evident 
the first time you play this, but that's what you need to do. Uh, the priest? I guess we can speak to him. Welcome to Carquel. Care to buy me a drink? I mean, <laughs> make a donation? I could use a bit of goodwill. Care to buy me a drink, he says. Um... Speak with the bartender. So what will it be? This bugbear light brew. <laughs> Should we do that? What about this one? Is it a beer? A whiskey? A wine? To tell you the truth, I'm not sure. But I can tell you that if you're feeling a bit of luck, you can That hits the spot. Okay. Right, let's talk to there the he is, Connor. There's the man who insulted my honor. Nobody lies about me lady and gets away with it, Bard. I think you meant to say lies with, which is funny because I heard enough out of you. Oh crap! Yeah. Um. It never seemed to occur to the Bard that knocking the piss out of Connor would fail to solve. Oh yeah. Uh. Ready to Oops. clean my boots with your face again? I'll do for you this time. I'm gonna beat you, senseless! Finally, come on, dude. I don't know if it's because of that drink that I had, that maybe it's making me super strong. I've had I enough! Know. I yield! Oh, you beat him senseless! That was wonderful, Connor. I never realized how manly you were. Mm. Let's forget this loser and go someplace quiet. What? Ever you say, love. That shopkeeper kicked me out of his store when I asked if I could buy something on credit. So this shopkeeper, he's a pretty funny guy. Um, he thinks we're we're not rich enough to buy anything. Discriminating weapons and armor. So let's see what he's got. I'm sorry, you've obviously wandered into what you believe to mm. be the local tavern. That is down the street. Mm -hmm. I could use some protection. You want armor? You do realize that we don't sell on credit here. Okay, I'm hmm. going by that. This looks interesting. This chainmail is the best armor money can buy. And more than mm. your money can buy, I'm afraid. More than you need, anyway. Unless, of course, you're on some sort of quest to save the world. <laughs> oh, dear, yes. Mm. But seriously, I'll take it. Whoever you robbed to get this <laughs> money is certain to be awfully angry. Show me your armor. You want armor? You do realize that we don't sell on credit. Let me have a closer look. No, oh, I didn't even know I had any of those left. A quaint little wood. I'll take it. I admire a man who really... Let's talk about close quarters combat. We sell only the finest melee weapons here. What else you got? I'd like to see your bows. Bows? You couldn't even afford the string. <laughs> wow, interesting. Very nice, very accurate, very powerful. I'll take it. It must have been very difficult to give up your life savings. Ugh. But if this saves your life, I suppose it's worth it. Well, oh, that's hand, what we I actually really needed, and we don't life. have enough money. That is a See you, old man. There's a shop in Houghton that you might be able to afford. Okay, so I just don't really have time to go around messing with um, saving up all of the coins, so I just kind of, you know, used a, a little uh, helper to, to get some coins. And I honestly only meant to do 10,000. But I, something was messed up, and anyway, I ended up Can with 20,000. This? this instrument is very used, a little dinged up, and really not very good to look at. You may actually be able to afford it. We don't normally carry items like this, so I'll be happy to get rid of it. And hopefully you as well. So that is definitely one of the best items in the game. You can see I have two little circles over there in the left-hand corner now, so that means I can summon two creatures. So... That is awesome. So the maximum is four. So eventually I'll be able to summon up to four of these guys. Go ahead and do her. Need my help. Alright, let's go see what he's gotta say now. I've made your daughter happy, Grandpa. 
so hand over the belt. I don't know how you did it, son. I owe you thanks for getting her out of my hair. What's left of it? I'll miss these pleasant chats of ours. The bell is yours for the taking. There's an old horse out in the pasture, the bell's around his neck. Good luck. <laughs> you chase the old nag around the pasture and grab the bell, and I won't slaughter all your chickens. How's that? Well, me chasing that nag will do neither of us any good. I'll drop dead and you still won't have the bell. <laughs> as much as I'd like that, I do need the bell. That old horse is possibly the meanest, nastiest creature I've ever known, present company included. I put that bell on him so that I could hear him coming and get away as far as possible. If you get the bell off that horse, you'll be sure and thank Bo for providing a poor old man such amusement. Which one? There's more than one. Never mind. All right, so we're going to go deal with this demonic horse that's got our bell. Nothing's easy. Everything has many different tasks that you have to complete. Oh, oh god. We have to fight the horse and fight the wolves? That just look like they're attacking us, thankfully. I'm, I feel really bad for killing this horse. <laughs> Sorry. This is a really bad thing to do, because... Um, I see you're just as good with animals as you are with people. He started it, and I have the oof marks to prove it. Uh, you need help bearing your horse? Shh! Don't call it my horse. I've never seen this animal before! If the town elders see that you spilled the blood of my horse here, we'll be stoned. They used to use this site for executions and sacrifices back when we still did that sort of thing. And I'm not about to be here when they decide to start again. Great. Just what I need. A mob of angry villagers at my heels. <laughs> you aren't going to just leave it here, are you? And I'll come back after dark when nobody can see me. Now, let's flee from this place. And so the bard, with bell in hand and the smell of horse on his shoes, rushed back to the temple to meet his new lady. She's not my lady. Thank <laughs> you.